This live vote right now, if you're in tune with the air and shit, send this around to as many people as possible. Cause I'm about to I'm about to drop some shit that I haven't dropped. You guys are about to get a little bit of clarity as to why I'm so fucking pissed off at Check the Star. You guys are about to find out. You know what? It doesn't even matter how many people's in this bitch. I'd never save these lives, but this one will be saved 100%. So check it out. No pun intended. This is why you guys don't understand why I'm so mad at this guy and why I confronted him on live and why I was pointing the finger at him and all that other shit, okay? You're about to learn. I'm so mad right now. Like, honestly, I can't even lie to you guys. I am pissed right now. But this is why, okay? So after Aaron passed away, right? There's a lot of weird shit going on. A lot of weird shit. It still is weird. Anybody that doesn't think it's weird, you're just not thinking at all. But anyway, we had access to Aaron's last text messages and his text messages were with a number that I don't remember the area code, but it was a, the, the middle numbers were 666, oddly enough. And then some other numbers, I forget the area code. We tried to figure out whose number it was and it came back as like a Google, you know what I mean? Like some kind of online number, you know what I mean? That you couldn't trace a name, right? But just through the flow of the conversation, me and one of Aaron's other really close friends, who I'm not going to name for his own safety, but we were sitting there and he goes, we were looking through the flow of the conversation and there was one thing mentioned in the conversation that gave a very big hint as to who this person was. That was the last person that was texting Aaron that was trying to force drugs on Aaron. Okay. This is a fact. These text messages are out there. Somebody, the last person to text message Aaron was somebody that was trying to force drugs on Aaron. That was trying, saying that he's pulling up at his house, said that Aaron's pissing him off because Aaron didn't want to take the drugs and that he went and got them. And now he's going to be out money. His wife's going to be mad at Aaron, all that shit, all these text messages are out there, okay? We try, through the flow of conversation, Aaron's other friend says, wait a second, I know who that is. And the hint was because the guy said, look, man, if you ever need this type of service, which the guy did, just let me know. And then Aaron's friend was like, holy fuck, I know who this is. I know who these text messages are, messages are from. So what Aaron's friend did is Aaron's friend made a fake Facebook account and he went and he messaged this person who he suspected of being the person number from the text messages I was trying to force drugs on Aaron okay and when he messaged him he literally said look was Aaron I want to know was Aaron alive or was Aaron dead when you saw him last because I know you were one of the last people to see him the first thing that the guy says back is look leave my kids out of this blah 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 guilty admission right away the guy was spooked Okay, the guy was fucking spooked and the guy lives in Aaron's area. Okay, and the guy was fucking spooked. Okay, so then Aaron's friend keeps applying the pressure on this guy. And then this guy literally says Garcia with a question mark and then says Miguel with a question mark. Why is the guy who was the very last person to fucking be messaging Aaron that nobody knows his identity? That me and Aaron's friend were just trying to figure it out and speculating, and we figured, and we got a, and we got a little warm, okay? We poked around, and guess what? We got some answers. Why did this guy say Garcia and Miguel? Why did he suspect when we were messaging him from a fake account trying to apply pressure on him? Why did he say Miguel Garcia's name? Why would he know that name? And why would he suspect that it was Check the Star who was messaging him, applying that pressure? That's why I'm mad at Check. That's what you guys don't understand. That's what's not been being told, okay? Now you guys know, okay? The last number that called Aaron is somebody in Lancaster. He was trying to sell Aaron drugs. He's probably the last person to see Aaron. And for some reason, when we message him from fake accounts, putting pressure on him, trying to, trying to poke around, trying to get information, he, he, he messages us back without any coercion, without anything at all, and says Garcia with a question mark, and then says Miguel with a question mark, okay? Now, this is what you guys need to know, too. I told Melanie Martin this shit. I told her all this shit, and she tried to assure me that Miguel is fucking clean and clear and blah, blah, blah. She just wanted to dismiss through that. If anybody else told me that 
about someone that I lost, I would find that extremely suspicious and I would want to know more information, but no, not her. She just wanted to brush it over, tell me that no, he just wants this and that. He, why in the hell was Miguel at Aaron's house days after his death taking stuff out of Aaron's house with her and with the PR agent, Angel Hawanski. okay? Let's talk about her, okay? Do you know how Aaron met Angel Hawanski, who's the PR agent for Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, Leslie Nielsen, Eddie Griffin, you name it, NBA players, you name it. Why in the hell is this woman, who's so important and so fucking busy in the entertainment industry, at Aaron's house two days later with Check the Friggin' Snake and Melanie Martin, taking stuff out of Aaron's house and why did they have access to Aaron's phone and why were they going through Aaron's phone maybe they were trying to delete shit I don't know it's possible I'm speculating but I'm letting you guys know why I'm pissed off and why I keep mentioning these names I'm not fucking paranoid I'm not fucking crazy and let me tell you something else about Angel Huwanski okay she was involved in a scandal involving Michael Jackson's father. When Michael Jackson's father, Joe Jackson, died, she was involved in a scandal where the Jackson family accused her of not uh, uh, alerting them to the condition of his health prior to his death. Okay, so she's already caught up in some funny shit with some big time names. What's she doing dipping around with Check the Snake and Melanie? You tell me. Okay, go to Yuri Entertainment Group, E-U-R-E. -E. That's who she works for. That's who's putting Miguel on all these fucking platforms. And why they're putting Miguel on these platforms is so he can go around and rewrite the narrative. So he can pretend like he was Aaron's best friend and they can write this whole narrative and he's gonna continue on the legacy and make people like me, make it look like we weren't friends with Aaron or we were Aaron's enemy. Miguel knew Aaron less than a year. And in that year, Aaron didn't speak to him for in that less than a year, Aaron didn't speak to him a bunch of times during that time and was very suspicious of him. I posted a fucking text message yesterday, okay, about Aaron saying that he specifically suspected Czech, Melanie, her mom, and Christy. Who's Christy? The real estate agent who's best friends with Angel, okay? Why wasn't Aaron's host selling? Aaron was scared to death. Why do you think you guys think Aaron bought an RV? He was scared to death to be in that host. And guess what? Three weeks before he died, there was a mysterious break-in at Aaron's host. Okay? And then after the mysterious break-in at Aaron's host, Angel Hwanski, the PR agent, suggested that he get a live-in housekeeper. And she said she knew the perfect person. And guess who that person was? The black woman that was apparently homeless, that was living with Aaron, that was there with him the, the supposed 36 hours that he was dead, the one that wouldn't let the police in when they knocked on the door, the one that wouldn't let the neighbors in who were healthcare professionals when they knocked on the door, yeah, that woman was sent there by the PR agent who's putting check on Sway in the morning, putting check on all these platforms, and it's kind of funny how check was a nobody. He didn't even have a verification on Instagram the whole time he fucking knew Aaron, right up until, right towards the end. It's very funny. And now all of a sudden he's platformed everywhere. Very funny shit, okay? That's why I'm pissed off, okay? Now you guys know, okay? We put pressure on that person, okay? We messaged someone on Facebook who Aaron's friend suspected of being the person that was in the text messages and by their, their response to the pressure, they are guilty and they are a person of interest, okay? And other people know this shit and the fact that nobody else is speaking on this shit is the biggest red flag in the fucking world, okay? Miguel Garcia will do anything for fame, anything anything and you got to watch a motherfucker like that he went on judge mathis in like 2001 the guy's like 38 years old he has a family he has kids he's not some young soundcloud rapper with face tats he's older than everybody that he's around and he thinks that he's fucking slick but he's not slick i seen through him right from the fucking beginning and he forced his way into aaron's life Okay, there was a channel called no one she used to have a video up But she took all of her videos down after Aaron passed, but I'm still looking for this video She had a video up. It was check the star. It was another it was joker. It was um oh, What was the other guy's name? Uh, another guy there was there was a few people online 
And Aaron was trying to be friends with all of them. Aaron wanted to be friends with Joker. He didn't want to be friends with Check. Check came on the live and started applying pressure on Aaron like, yo, I really don't appreciate you ignoring me. You unfollowed me. And Aaron got like, you could see Aaron was uncomfortable. Aaron's like, oh man, it must have just been an accident. I don't know, blah, blah, blah. He's like, nah, this is my friends. You're not just going to come into my friends and start doing what you want to do and just ignoring me. I will not be ignored. He sounded like a jealous girlfriend. This is Aaron and Check's big first encounter. Check literally put the pressure on Aaron to follow him back and to be friends with him. Okay. And then he started working his way in there. Aaron was friends with Joker and Rocky Luciano. He's friends with Rocky Luciano more than any of them. Okay. So why in the fuck is Check flying out there and all this shit? Why didn't the rest of them fly out there? Because Check was thirsty because he was using Aaron and he used Aaron to get famous. It happens every fucking day in Hollywood. Sacrifices need to be made. Okay. You can't get something without giving something. That's how the world works. But you guys are fucking ignorant to that shit because you don't know how this power shit works. You guys better wake the fuck up. Aaron Carter's death is fucking overly suspicious. Anybody that doesn't think so is a fucking idiot. And at the core of the shit, who has something to benefit from Aaron's death? You tell me. Okay, you just look around at who's doing what right now and tell me who's benefiting. And anybody that says I'm chasing clout, how much clout can you get? How much clout am I getting from from speaking out on Aaron Carter's behalf? Are you guys crazy? Do you guys see me on major platforms? Do you guys see me posting every single day? Do you guys see me having candlelight vigils where I shoot a music video? Do you guys see me selling his clothes? Do you guys see me on all the you know what I mean? Like you guys see me running around with his woman in New York in New York City? She just got custody back. What the fuck she doing it in New York City with Check the Star at Sway in the morning? Or wherever the fuck they were at. Why is she running around with Sway right now, period? You guys tell me, man. You guys tell me. Because it looks mad funny. And that's all I got to fucking say. Okay? Now you guys know. Now you guys know. Miguel Garcia is guilty of sin and he, he fucking talks too fucking much. And, and, and that's how I figured out everything. He's just listening to this little rat talk, just talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and giving up everything. You should have never went on Sway, bro. You gave up way too much shit in there. And soon as you said, and Sway asked you, what's your deal with Melanie? And you said, oh, she's my brand manager. She just helped me get some decent PR. Oh, what angel? What in the hell does Angel want to do with Check? Think about all the people she represents. I challenge you guys to look her name up. Angel, H-O-W-A-N-S-K-Y, Yuri Entertainment, E-U-R-E Entertainment. Look it up on Google. Look at all the, um, the famous people that they represent, including Michael Jackson, oddly enough. And then you tell me what they're doing with Melanie and Check. You guys better wake the fuck up, man. Straight the fuck up. Peace in the mood to talk but then i think you know i've had friends that i've lost and they left behind family and friends right and i've always made it a point like well you gotta worry you gotta worry about the vultures the people that are just clinging on just to get something from you you know yeah you're going through a little bit of what just a little tiny bit of what michael went through he went through so much crap that he never have had to go through but because of his fame that's what happens yeah we're shining on escalades on 26s yeah we gliding on about the president